Happy Friday, beautiful souls. This is Shamama Hunting Owl with a message for us for this new moon in Sagittarius. <sighs> Hi guys, it's good to see you all. I have missed you all. Um, I want to always start by thanking you all for being here, liking, subscribing, sharing the videos, your comments, the the cards on, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You know, um, the support, the love, the messages. Um, you guys are awesome. You are like the best. And and you're all doing so amazingly well with with the energies and everything that's been going on. So so kudos to you all. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sharing in this experience and sharing in this journey with me. Um, okay. So I want to talk about something just really quick, you guys, um, and it's kind of exciting for me, and I want to share it with you. I know a couple months ago, maybe I shared a little bit in a video for those of you who remember and those of you who are new, I guess you'll find out now. Um, I started um, on my mission, uh, a bigger part of my mission here in my physical world, and I was divinely brought to an amazing um, mission soulmate partner who... Um, who he and I have started um, facilitating ceremonies, fire healing ceremonies and plant medicine ceremonies. Um, and we have decided that 2019, we will be taking our ceremonies on the road, which means that we are gonna be traveling around the United States, for sure the United States, maybe even further, who knows, um, bringing, bringing our ceremonies to you. Um, so if any of you are interested in having us come and, and do healing and plant medicine ceremonies for you where you are with a group of um, like-minded individuals, we would love to be able to facilitate that for you. So you guys, if this sounds like something that interests you and, and calls to you for your healing, for your higher mission, for further, you know, awaken uh, higher consciousness. For any of these reasons, if this is something that goes, ooh, that sounds a little interesting, hit me up and let me know because we're going to start putting together a schedule for 2019. And, and right now I'm looking for feedback from you guys as to who would be interested, what areas um, of, of the country and and even potentially out of the country, if there are people who want to put together um, ceremonies, we would do weekend ceremonies, two nights probably, one night or two nights, depending on what you would want. Um, and yeah, so so we're super excited to be able to be, be being able to bring this to you. So hit me up. All my information is under the video in the box to get a hold of me. You can also go to um, lunarawakenings.com um, and we have a Lunar Awakenings AOL at AOL um, address that you can email us, Sean or myself directly um, and, and inquire and share anything that you'd like to about us being able to offer these ceremonies um, outside of our local area here in South Florida. So, super exciting new things to look forward to for, for 2019, you guys. Um, okay, so let's talk about what is going on. We've got the new moon in Sagittarius today, um, at least here in the U.S. We've got um, Mercury now is moving direct. It is no longer retrograde, so yay. Um, and we also have St. Nicholas Day today. So I kind of love that because... This all goes into what this new moon in Sagittarius stands for, which is this really this energy of you being able to have it all, knowing that we are limitless, that everything is possible, um, and this excitement that is being felt. You know, we are coming into the holidays, you know, St. Nicholas, Santa, joy, happy, happy, you know, um, those of you who, who, who celebrate the birth of Christ, Hanukkah, you know, um, we are coming into this time of, of great love and joy, okay, expression of love, um, and, and this is kind of like igniting our fire, it's igniting our passion. It's showing us that with this moon, that anything is possible, that we can believe in miracles. Um, and, and they showed it to me kind of like these little sparks 
turning into this great wildfire that that sparks do turn into flames these little passionate desires that we have when when fueled with the right intention can become these massive flames like supersize everything in our worlds right now um and and it's an action oriented energy so 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 we're feeling the fire we're feeling the burning we're feeling like okay we got to do this we got to do this we got to do this um and we feel like that we can defy any limits that are being put on us right now that the sky is the limit as long as we stay in our faith and we keep those positive intentions with us so this new moon cycle is about bringing in a new beginning it is also about closing out i mean this is our last new moon of 2018 so we are not only manifesting and 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 projecting our intentions for the rest of this year but into the new year and and into the next cycle but we are also wrapping up 2018 completion of what we have done this year and damn you guys it has been a year it was it has definitely not been the year that I thought it was going to be when we did videos last year this time. Wow, it has been a much more intense year. Um, but there has been significant amounts of beauty and, and wonder and, and growth that has come out of this. So, so you know, we are, we are looking forward now to, to completing this 2018 cycle, finishing what we've started, really um, polishing the edges of the, the things that we are passionate about. And then we are, in addition, we are, we are taking that high vibration of, of success that we have made it through another very challenging, challenging time. And, and taking that vibration, that, that, that pride, not that ego pride, that, that heart pride, that, that feeling good about ourselves, and that vibration is just so high that that is what is going to catapult us, literally catapult us into 2018. It's going to be what, you know, if we go into this moon cycle that now, this next 72 hour or, you know, 72 hours in a low vibration, that's going to only like a little slingshot, like boing, just going to throw you a little bit ahead for next year. But dudes, you guys, if we can hold this high vibration and really reflect on everything and how far we have come and embrace, literally fill our cups with all of that love and pride and beauty and, and just good feeling, that is gonna fucking slingshot us and it's gonna catapult us into 2019's energy of just abundance and success and being able to reap in, reel in there showing me, like reeling in that big fucking fish that we've been waiting for. And it is coming, okay? They're showing me like, and I don't know anything about fishing, but they're showing me like this pole, bending, like reeling, like stretching, like pulling, like needing people to hold on to you so you can reel that fucker in. Oops, sorry, no, it's whatever. <laughs> But, but they're showing me like the big, the, the Moby Dick is coming. The, the biggest fish you could catch, it is coming. It is coming in 2019. Um, and for some of you, it may come sooner. Um, but, but that's what we're, we're working toward is, is this bigger pot of gold. And, and the cards are going to really reflect this, you guys. Um, but we have to just remember that this is the final push. We are closing out this year. We want, we want next year to be the year. You know, we want this. We have been working so hard to bring in all of this newness into our lives. It's time to start shining in that newness, you guys. And, and with 2019, we are going to be really bringing in the whole, you know, our new realities the final movement toward toward skipping over to our, our new reality, the new earth, our new way of life really becoming even more integrated in, in how we live our everyday lives. Um, 
you know, that, that 5D reality and higher is going to be becoming our norm now. Um, and it's going to, and it's really being written. You know, there's been this huge um, higher dimensional work that is being done um, that that is literally rewriting, um, rewriting the way this is playing out now. Um, so, so it's sort of like this energy that's coming in and I don't really know if I'm explaining this properly. Um, it was shown that, that there is this higher dimensional, higher than the fifth dimension. I mean, we're talking way the hell up there. Um, beings, energies that are being, that are acting as, um, facilitators, shall we say, for, for creating this tremendous shift that is coming. Um, so, so it's almost like, it is almost like, um, an override. It is, it is another, um, dimensional push to continue to work toward where we're supposed to be going to keep us on track. Um, for those who have strayed, it's going to start to get them back on track. Um, this is literally a bigger energy that is coming in that is, standing as correction to put everybody back if they need to be put back to where they are and and making sure everyone is continuing to move forward um in this mission in our goals in what we were put here to do um so so that is also happening and 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 it really is a very powerful energy and this energy is going to as we know we've got um what 12 12 12 21 the 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 winter whozy whatsy um solstice is it solstice or is it equinox i never remember you guys um whatever the 1222 and 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 these are tremendous energies these are super important gateways for us to continue to move through um because we are being blasted by this higher dimensional energy and and all i can say you guys is it's just it's pushing us it's pushing us it's bringing us to the pot of gold and and the cards i'm just gonna stop talking because the cards are gonna show all of this um and it's gonna break break us away from from everything that we've kind of been stuck in up until recently so okay let's just get to the reading how's that what did I use? I used a bunch of decks today, you guys. I used the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I used the Magical Unicorns. The Mythical Goddess Tarot. And the Whispers of Love. Lots of decks today, right? Whispers of Love? Yeah, Whispers of Love. All right. So, underlying energy of this reading. And I thought this was super cool, you guys, is we got three cards. We got the love card, okay? This is twin flame, twin waterfalls, twin dolphins, frolicking, happy, love, joy, playful energy, coming together into one. The waterfalls are coming together into one beautiful lake, river, whatever, um, ocean. And, and there is this, this coming together energy. You know, this is coming into balance and alignment in a place of love, okay? We also have with that, you guys are going to love this, we have the Ace of Cups. Now, okay, I'm going to remind you guys, this is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. There are naked people or semi-naked people or very naked people in these cards, potentially. So if you have any little ones watching or offended by nudity, then turn off the video. Okay, but as I start... So the first card we got with the love card for the underlying is the Ace of Chalices, okay? This is about the new beginning in love. This is about it all coming together, okay? Our new beginning, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, sharing and embracing this beautiful energy, this divine sacred connection, okay? I mean, they are just completely wrapped up in this love, Okay, you guys, with that also comes the world, okay, which means we are starting this new cycle, okay, 
We are coming out of the old. We are starting this new cycle. I love this card because the masculine is just in adoration of the feminine. And the feminine is just like, we got this. We, I support this. The feminine is supporting this world. And the masculine is just like, I want in. I want in to this beautiful manifestation that is coming before us. Okay? So those are great underlying energies to start with, you guys. Um, okay. So where do I want to start next? Let's see. All right, we're going to start with what's been going on for the masculine and the feminine alike. This is kind of like going to be a little reading inside a bigger reading, you guys. So, so I asked for I asked what's going on right now for the feminine and for the masculine and where it's headed. And first we got isolation. Okay? So, this tells me that this reading is for sure for twins who are not in contact, um, no communication or very limited communication, um, where there has been um, no real movement, where there has just been kind of a lot of solitude and quiet in their, in their twin relationship, okay? Um, there's been a lot of people in their minds, you know, wind, thoughts, air, um, and, and, you know, I did a reading during the week that talked about the crow. And the crow came as, as a messenger um, during the week. And I feel like that that's what this is. It's like there, uh, there's been a need to be in isolation, to be in no communication with the outside world, with your twin, with, with your beloved, whatever you want to, your soulmate. Um, because there have been messages that have needed to be received from the higher realms, whether it's a deceased relative, whether it's just, but but there's needed to be this time of connecting on your own quiet level on by yourself to your messages and to the divine. Okay, um, so so there's been this period of isolation. We all know that. And what is the purpose of this period of isolation? Is to get our thoughts clear. But it's also given us time to purify and heal. Heal our emotions. Heal our emotional wounds. Um, to, to literally see the purity that is ourselves. Um, to start to understand um, on a higher level the beauty that is around us. And, and see how we can add to purifying that which is around us in our world. So it's, 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 we've needed this time to heal the wounds that we have previously um, unleashed on the world by us healing them and purifying ourselves. We can now offer a more beautiful energy to the world. And this is what we are doing in this time of isolation. That's what all this isolation, separation is only time for growth, expansion, purity, and healing. It's not meant to torture you. It's not meant as punishment. It's time to reflect and get your shit together. So, so your wishes, next card, can come true. Okay? And this is like, you know, you wished upon a star. You made these wishes. And this is that energy, that higher dimensional energy that I'm feeling that's coming in. Is like, this says the Palladian star goddesses. And I feel like that's... The energy that I talked about when I talked about this higher, you know, dimensional energy that's kind of taking care of things, your prayers have been heard. They have been, you know, offered up to the universe, to the higher light beings, and they are delivering our wishes. They are granting that. And, and with that comes the success card, you guys. That's the pot of gold. They are, they are delivering it. They are opening us up. Our Palladian star sisters, brothers are granting us those wishes. They are opening the gateways and the doorways for us to collect on this beautiful abundance. Right? Okay. So that's the little message inside the bigger message. So the first card I got, I asked about what the Divine Masculine was needing slash 
feeling at this time? Because, because the first part of this reading all really, you know, came to the fact that, that the divine masculine and the divine feminine have been dealing with isolation, okay? So I asked, like, what do we need at this time? What does the masculine need? And this is so cool, you guys. They got, we got the Ace of Chalices for the masculine. And really look at this card. It is so gorgeous, you guys. The masculine needs his feminine nurturing. He needs to be close to her heart. He needs that that nourishment it's it's and and say what you want to say it's like you know being put to the breast being nourished being fed the masculine is is really they're tapped out their energy is gone and all they want is to fall into the bosom the arms of their beloved and be fed and be nourished and 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 give their love and receive the love that they have been lacking. Um, that's really fucking beautiful. So anyway, okay. And, and, and so I asked like, why is the masculine so tapped out? Why are they so drained? It's not just this isolation and this mental work that they've been doing that's drained them. It's literally them being reborn. They have been through some rough emotional shit, you guys. Whether you see it or not, okay? It doesn't fucking matter if you're seeing it or recognizing it in your world, Divine Feminine. The masculine has literally been tossed into the rough waters, okay? And they are looking for refuge. It's like a womb, okay? They just need to be kept safe and taken care of and nurtured and loved right now. This is what they are wanting. This is what they need to get through everything that they've experienced. They have been in an emotional tidal wave and they are seeking shelter. They are seeking that time to just be nuzzled in. I mean, like... You know, like, look at these cards together, you guys. I don't know which direction they go. This way? Yeah, this way. But look, I mean, like, this is coming in, taking care, coming out, in from out in the cold or out of the rain. Like, this is what the masculine wants. This is where the healing is taking place, okay? They are healing and, and our love and everything we are offering in support in the energetic levels of just holding that space of love for them is helping them heal. So I asked, all right, well, what does the divine feminine, what's going on with her? What does she want? What is her situation coming out of this isolation? Um, and we got for the divine feminine, and I love this, it's the four of pentacles, right? And if you look at these cards that the masculine and the feminine got, we've got, you know, the masculine nuzzling into the feminine and her just embracing him and holding him. And then we've got the feminine in return, receiving immense amounts of pleasure from her masculine. Him being able to love her in return. She is getting to receive. She is giving and he is receiving. And she is, he is giving and she is receiving. So this is a beautiful balance, you guys. This is pleasure. Both parties want to give and receive to each other right? This is what is happening. We are coming, you know, and more and more of the readings are showing that the masculine and the feminine are coming more and more into alignment. We are mirroring each other um, emotionally and, and much more closely than we have. Um, so I think that's beautiful that, that both the feminine and the masculine right now are very, very open to giving and receiving with each other. And they are craving that. They are feeling that need and that desire. So the feminine got with this, what is their whole situation with the Four of Pentacles? The clarifying card is the Four of Fire, completion, okay? The divine feminine wants this to come together. And I love that we've got two fours here for the feminine. This is that stable foundation. This is the eight, okay? The fours are the stable foundation, the legs of the table, but the eight is the infinity. It's the coming together of this union, okay? So the feminine wants to put the completion on this, like wants to, 
to finally make this happen. And, and this is beautiful because it does culminate with the fact that this new moon in Sagittarius is pushing us to complete the work that we have done this year. And the feminine has done a tremendous amount of growth, tremendous amount of growth this year. So she is ready to be like, all right, I'm done with 2018. Let's bada bing, done, check that. We're moving on to much more passionate, successful areas in our life. And they concern giving and receiving, okay? Being open and loving to each other and with our partners. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm making a mess of the cards as I'm moving stuff around. Okay, so I said, all right, so what's, what's the issue? Like, if the divine masculine and the divine feminine both want this, both want this passion and nurturing and giving and receiving and love, why, why is this not happening? Why are we still having, you know, this need for isolation at this time? And, and so the next card we got for that, you guys, is the hanged man. The masculine and the feminine are still feeling a little stuck, a little tied up, okay? They're really not sure about approaching each other, okay? They're not sure. They're still looking at things from a new perspective, you know? They're kind of peeking. You know, this guy is peeking at his feminine. She's kind of wrapped up in her own shit right now. Like, she's not even looking at him, and she's got her wrists bound, and here's the masculine laying there like, fuck, I really want to go over there. But like, she doesn't even see me. I'm not even in her sight right anymore right now. She's reflected on other stuff. So, so there's some uncertainty um, that needs to be established that, that the feminine is not, not focused on. But, okay, let me back up. The feminine has been very wrapped up in, in other things. And, and that doesn't mean that she's not still present for her masculine. She's still right there. But they've both been kind of shell-shocked and, and in this separated place. So coming back together, they need, you know, they're both feeling a little unsure about where the other one stands because, face it, the 3D has not exactly reflected um, everything that we talk about in these readings yet. You know, we know on a soul level, on a higher level, what's going on. But, you know, our physical world. So this is really talking about bringing this into the physical world, manifesting, um, grounding in a, an understanding that, that something needs to, uh, someone needs to move, okay? The divine masculine is, is working his way toward the feminine in this, in this picture. He's working his way toward the approach, so what is it that they are feeling stuck about? Why are they feeling this way? And it's all because they need to talk about their feelings, okay? The feminine has talked about her feelings and talked about her feelings and talked about her feelings until she has exhausted herself. It's time for the masculine. And that's why he's kind of crawling back to the feminine because he wants to talk about his feelings, you guys. He wants to share what is going on and what has happened. He's just a little apprehensive. He needs, he needs to get up his strength and his courage, okay, to take that chance to put himself out there. So he needs to, the feelings need to be discussed. And with that came, which is hysterical, another four, you guys, the four of chalices. And in this card, here is the divine masculine and the divine feminine meeting, meeting up to talk to cut away the bullshit, to draw in with the magnet that which is in their vibration, that this conversation needs to take place. You know, I mean, like, this is the new beginning. This is, you know, there's coins, there's a magnet, and there's a scissor. You know, the scissor is to cut away the crap. The magnet is to draw in the energy, and the pentacles is to ground that into the physical world. Okay, so that's a beautiful card of sharing their feelings. And again, it's another four. So now we have three fours in this reading, really talking about building that stable foundation. Okay, so with this, you know, conversation that needs to take place, because obviously we're talking about, you know, them being stuck. They need to talk about their feelings. They're showing us getting together to talk about our feelings. 
what needs to happen. You just need to be yourselves, guys. Okay? That's what this fear is also. This fear is like, if I come back, you know, are they going to accept me for who I am this time? Like, and it's, yeah, just be who you are. Be who you are. Share what you need to share. Share your feelings. Make that offering, you guys. And laugh. Be lighthearted and playful in this energy of coming together. It doesn't have to be this big, heavy um, conversation. It doesn't have to be that. It can be light and fun and playful. And, and, and it, it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be scary. Um, so, so what is coming next? You know, how is, how are we getting past this, this, uh, this hangman energy? Because we know what needs to happen. Everybody knows what needs to happen, but what's going to make it happen? How is it going to happen? And we get the judgment card. Okay. And this is the divine masculine and the divine feminine being bound together, being bound together in moving forward. Okay, this again takes me to this Palladian energy, okay? It's the same energy. It's judgment is coming. The decisions are being made at a higher level to facilitate this union coming together, okay? But rest assured, you are bound. You are tied to your masculine. Masculine, you are tied to your feminine, this is where you are headed. And this energy that is coming in with the judgment being made is going to allow you to be the fool, to trust, to feel the love. I mean, she's dressed in green and she's dancing. That aha moment is coming where you're going to feel this draw, this connection is unbreakable. And you're going to go, okay. Woohoo! I surrender. I can do this. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. So with that, and I talked about the celebration, right? Didn't I just talk about like you need to celebrate and laugh and have fun? Well, then brings in as we're the fool, as this judgment comes through, as these energies move us closer and closer and put us back on our path and kind of, you know, make things happen for us. We get the three of chalices. Okay. We get the three of chalices. We get that coming together. We get what we're desiring. We get this pleasure. We get this passion. We get to taste the fruits of our labors. You know? We get to share in this joy. This is what it's about. This sacred union. To create from this sacred union. They're telling me to look back at something. What are they telling me to look at? Hang on one second, guys. I don't know. There's something they wanted me to look at, but I don't know what it was. Something about a new beginning. Another new beginning. Oh, I don't know. And I don't see. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Oh, it's the egg. Okay, wait. So they're showing me. Okay, I get it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little egg wrapped up in the table right there, right? And so what they're saying is that, again, signifies this new birth, okay? This egg being hatched, this new beginning in love, okay? The, the wishes being granted because what's going to come out of this union, this celebration, this coming together with your twin, this sacred, truly sacred sexual union. I mean, like, that's all I keep hearing in my head for the last, like, week is this beautiful birth, this treasure, this, this, this newness, um, a divine gift. And that brings us to the sun card, you guys. Okay. All of this coming together, nourishing each other, nourishing our world. And, um, and abundance. I mean, look, they've got this basket just full they have everything they need when they're together, when they get past all of this nonsense, all of this work, 
all of this mind chatter and they trust in themselves and they trust in their messages and they trust in what they're feeling. They have it all. They have it all together. So I have two cards left and those are from the Whispers of Love. And the first message is new love. Okay, again, a new beginning in love. And when I pulled this card, I asked for a message for the Divine Masculine to give to his feminine. And the message that came with this new love card is, this is your masculine. He's catching the star. Okay, look at that. He gets it. He's catching the star. He's catching the star. He's opening up to receive this love. Okay? Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. He's willing to embrace this chance to come back. To come back to his feminine and talk about his feelings and her feelings. And to just be themselves and to love. This new love can start. It is being rekindled. And I asked what the feminine wants to say to her masculine. And the last card, and I love this because this card is a 11, <clears throat> which is the number of the twins. <clears throat> and it says, look to your inner strength. And this is the feminine in her glory, supporting, holding that space for herself and her masculine to be able to, to move forward. Supporting each other, knowing, encouraging that we are all stronger than we realize. That we have so much strength from this journey. That it has not killed us yet, you guys. <laughs> and it's not going to. That we are going to be able to be strong and continue to grow. So find your strength. Offer that strength to your masculine. Offer that strength to yourself. Connect in that strength from the divine because we are moving forward, you guys, into beautiful times. So many unions are coming in. So many divine masculines are ready and are starting to reach out. Um, for those who are not yet there, who are still kind of stuck in this little hangman or isolation mode, it's coming to an end. Um, the higher dimensions are 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 our our higher beings are making sure that this shit is happening. And and this is not a matter of giving false hope or or trying to make anybody stay attached to anything that they don't want to. Um the cards just come out as they come out, you guys. Um keep focusing on yourself. Moving forward, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, keep following your heart. Keep falling into that place of love for yourself. Wanting more for yourself. It will bring you together. It will bring you together. Everything is being divinely timed, you guys. So do what you're continuing to do, you guys. You're doing so well. Push through. We've got a lot to do these next three weeks. So I think I'm going to end with that, you guys. Um, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Gratitude and blessings, always beautiful souls. Um, have a great new moon. Have a great week. And I promise we will talk again really soon. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.